Hello, dear friends. I've come your way again. God bless you. Today, let us talk about knowledge about who our Father, our real God is. There are some people who live as if they don't have a God. You live as if your Father is the only one on earth. And so we attribute certain things around our fathers on earth to God. God is not like man. Today, I'm coming to assure you that if you can live your, your, your life as a son, if you can live your life as a daughter, you have a father, you have a God who will bless you. And so, if you read with me 1 John chapter 3, from verse 1 to 3, my favorite. He says, Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. And that is what we are. The reason why the, the world does not know is that it did not know him. But I know you know him. You are a child of God. So live your life as such. Sometimes you'll be privileged to meet the son of a president, the son of a king, the prince. And so they have different lifestyles because whatever they do affects the kingdom. And so they are groomed to live in a particular way. That is how lovely our God is. He has made you his son. He has made you his daughter. Are you ready? To live it. If you are an ordinary person, there is nothing wrong. But so long as you are an heir to the kingdom, so long as you are a child of God, today it beckons you to live accordingly. You are a prince. You are a child of God. What is your behavior in public and in secret? How do you even think? How do you even talk? How are you living your life? This is what I draw your attention to today, my dear friend. Beloved, we are children of God. Live as such. Let people know that you are a prince, you are a princess. Don't just walk anyhow, talk anyhow, live anyhow. Have it in mind. This is the God we serve. He says, if, if you are supposed to live that way, you go with me again. He said, Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. For we shall be like him, because we will see him as he really is. You think God has blessed you? Forget. He will bless you even more. You think you are favored by God? Forget it, because you'll be favored the more. Why? Because you will live accordingly, and when finally he reveals himself to you, you, can, you will be like he is. You'll be so powerful, so favored, so blessed. This is what I draw your attention to. God bless you. Think about this, and you will be blessed. Shalom, peace. I'll talk to you another time. Bye.